All right, guys, so we're going to begin. All right, let's take a look at the first website. I told you we would be going through some examples. So I'm very visual. I'm, hopefully this will help you as well. Geico, right? Insurance has a little logo. The other little uh, guy that, you know, I don't know if it's a logo, but, you know, everyone recognizes a little Geico for our gecko for the geico insurance very simple right come on here you know go go ahead and, and give a quote home renters condo you know these are there will take you to different pages or different areas of their website claim center and that's pretty much it it's a really simple a lot of a really simple website a lot of white space you can, if you have a policy you can enter over here and that's it this is what works for geico all right let's take a look at, at something that's fun i think sugar really simple logo right it's look just look at it's just text right that's all that's involved plus a little duck Notice because it's fun and and, um, and you see all the colors like this is if you guys have never been to sugar, this is how they actually um, these are the drinks. They're huge and everything has lollipops and tons of sugar in everything. So um, they make it very fun, right? Look at the uh, the text. It's like a rainbow. They do that on purpose. Sliders. I'm going to be giving you tips throughout the night that hopefully will help you with overall um, website function as well and search engine optimization. The beginning is a slider, and I know it looks really nice on a website, but it can definitely slow down the site speed as far as it loading. So just be careful of that. Usually I like one image at the top, you know, what we call above the um, fold, which is right now what we're looking at. Above the fold means everything that we can see when we first turn on the website or go click on the website. And you want to really um, be careful of the, what I think it's dots per inch, or so, I'm not even sure, it's DPI, like you want it under 70, 72, not higher than that, because what that is is the pixels, and if it, again, too many pixels in the image, or it's um, very dense, it's going to take a longer time to load. So getting back to this, all right, those are the two things to keep in mind. Try not to do a slider, try not to do huge images, and if you are going to do huge images, huge images, try to resize them, and then also try to um, compress them to, you know, a smaller DPI. All right, so let's take a look. Really fun. The bottom line is with websites, what is the message? You need to, you know, we know sugar, right? It's sugar, sugar factory. It's sugar everywhere. Their message is clear, right? It's a restaurant. As soon as you go on it, you have an idea that it's probably a restaurant and they have all this sh sugar. You know, everything is sugar. It's all branded. So that's the purpose, I think, of a website, right? I don't know what you think a purpose of a website is, but for me, it's what's the message of the company? So if you're going to be doing a website for yourself, think, what is your message? If you're going to be doing it for others, you need to ask them, what is your message? What is the product or se service that you're selling? How does it differ from everybody else? You know, you have to help. The bottom line is the store owner, the business owner is going to have to help you as far as defining, you know, what, what's their message. And you can have this all templated out, like frequently asked questions so that when you sit down to do the website, you know, this will be very clear. Um, as far as getting testimonials, you may want to do the first one or two for free, and I'll show you some testimonials and why they're important. This one, you know, Sugar, I don't think they need any testimonials. Perhaps they do. In all honesty, they do have their, um, what do you call it, um, Instagram. Some of these will have Instagram, so that in itself is testimonial. You'll see the Instagram. What else? You know, you have pictures here. You have, um, you know, they have gift cards. They have celebrities. That in itself, you know, even though it's not a written testimonial, showing their face with their products, that's their testimonial. Look, she's got the duck, you know. This is basically their testimonial. So every website, I think, should have a testimonial page, um, testimonial section, testimonials. We can get into that more. I'm, a lot of what I'm covering will be repeated in other videos, but just something to keep in mind. Okay, so this is Sugar. Let's go into a website that perhaps you don't know the name. I think he's a huge name, but you don't, you may not know him, and that's fine. Tony Robbins, have you heard of him before? What does he do? He transform your life. His message is very clear. I chose this one because if you don't know who Tony Robbins is, it's clear. As soon as you come on it, you know, millions of lives changed, undeniable results, basically a life coach. That's what I get from him. You know, like the, the, if I were to go on this website and I saw this, even if it wasn't Tony Robbins, transform your life. Maybe some people want to transform their life, right? So his message, I think, is very clear. He's a guy, a lot of grays, a lot of blacks. Coloring, we're definitely going to get into um, 
you know tonight as well because I think that's so important when it comes to branding and, and you know whether you want to do gender colors or do you want to do um, you know basically like neutral general or gender neutral I guess you would call it so again take a look at the fonts take a look a lot of white, a lot of white there seems to be a push now for a lot of white there has been I think it's a clean look it's easy to understand remember creativity is great but if it's not concise and clear the message gets lost now you think of yourself how often do you like when you're on a website when you click on it how long do you stay on the website for a couple of seconds before really like it's five ten seconds at most before you decide to hit that click back button and you want to get off that website so when you're designing websites, think about that. It really has to make an impact very quick. Make that message clear as a bell, okay? You don't want to like guessing because guessing doesn't work here. There's tons of other websites that they can go to that it's going to be very clear. So um, he offers a lot, you know, you don't have to offer as much as him and that's absolutely fine, but you do want to make it very clear, you know, have columns or have images. Um, that kind of describe what's going on. I'll show you where to get images tonight. You could look in, we're going to go on those sites, but Pixabay and Unsplash if you don't have your own images. And then I'll talk about some apps that we can do as far as changing the images that you do have if you don't think they're good enough. All right, so again, um, very clear. I think something like this where it's um, him talking and then like it's almost like him in action, which is really great. You're not just showing a product or or you know, not just showing a product or service service, you're showing it in action and that's so important. So ideally those are the types of images you wanna get, whether it's for yourself or for um, a business owner. You want those to be in action. If you don't have them, that's okay. Start off with plainer ones first. You can start off with stock images, make sure they're just kind of personalized. They have like a good, you know, good colors and, and all that and I, I like a warm feeling to it but we'll get more into that okay so testimonials this is why testimonials are so important you may not there's tons of businesses out there right so what is it with the testimonials well they help you may not know who you know you go on somebody's website for the first time and you see people you know give their testimonials that means something so again testimonials are so very important and the other thing that we're going to definitely get into is email collection. You want your message to be very clear, but a lot of people just go on a website once and that's it. You want them to you want to be able to offer something so that they're going to give you their email. You can't just say something like sign up for my email. Do you do that when you're on someone's website? Sign up for my email? Probably not. You know, who wants to be bombarded with all these emails, right? You want them to be able to give you something and in return you'll give the email. Now that has to be very targeted to, you know, like your target market, your niche. Um, and it has to be something for them worthwhile that they're going to give you their email, right? So these are all things. We're just going to scroll down here. And then, so he's really like, I think this is a great website. It doesn't have to be that in depth to start off with. Then the flip side of that one is let's take a look at Warren Buffett, right? Everyone knows who Warren Buffett is, investor. This is it. I was scrolling around. I was like, is this really Warren Buffett's website? I think it is. I remember looking a few years back and this is his website. Um, just uh, just links, no images, a lot of white, but just let this works for him, right? He's Warren Buffett. He can get, <laughs> he's worth billions. So this is his website. This is what he wants to do. If he wanted a better website, he would do it, I think. But um. So that's pretty much it. The bottom line is, you know, um, really no message, you know, just a message from him. You can hit on it and uh, or click on it. And, you know, he talks about how he doesn't really give any stock recommendations. Um, but, you know, look into Geico, which was the, that's how I got on that website to begin with. But that's pretty much it. So for this first part tonight, think about what type of website you want to design, what your message is. It's the, probably the most important thing I can tell you tonight. Make a very clear message. All right, coming up next, we're going to be talking about different fonts that you can use as well as colors and where you can go to get those uh, and images too, where you can go to get those. All right, guys, I will see you on the next. Refresh, you know, take a look at the next one, click the next video, and you may have to refresh your page tonight in order to get this next video. All right, see ya.